welcome back. We're joined now by Challenger Learning Center Executive Director Kirsten Hibbard and my little ones, Evie and Lillian, for this edition of Science is Cool. And we have a little bit of the case of the giggles because we're doing a really funny one today. Hold on one second. <laughs> we're doing animal adaptations. So oh. we're used to our fingers and being able to use them to feed ourselves and all part of our lives. But imagine if, so here, we're going to pretend like oh. we're birds with all different beaks. So I've brought in all different beak types. So we'll start over with you guys. So, you know, with a kitchen glove, we have taped spoons. Yes. So you all represent birds that are skimmers. So okay. a spoon bill, even a pelican is going to skim into the water to pick up fish or other things. Okay, so. here I go. So should I go one at a time? Uh, so yeah. So how oh. birds, it's amazing. They just have their beaks, right, to help them get food. Ooh. You so know, we have our spoon Ooh. bills over here. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, nice. All right, and Evie here has our next type of beak. This is a beak like the most of the birds that are coming to your bird feeders at your home. So it's a blunt-like beak that can get nuts, and so with this, in a chomp-like beak. So what we do here for our Adaptation Olympics, we take our beaks, our clothespins. I'm just gonna perfect and see how many noodles we can pick up in a certain amount of time. Again, just using our beaks as our tool, as our adaptation for getting food. And you can see, whoa, it's actually harder than you think. I like to use these little noodles, but you could use beans, Ooh, all different things. You could use these. Yeah, oh, all different size dry yeah. noodles. I would bring this home. Nice. <laughs> it looks like dory. And our last beak is this long needle beak. Ooh. So I have tweezers oh, that we yeah. use in our lab, but you could use the tweezers that you have at home too, maybe in a bathroom. And in the, this beak is good for digging in soil to get the bugs or even digging into logs. Oh, so cool. Yeah, so this is a fun one. Sometimes we do it in a relay to see all the different kinds of beaks and how animals have adapted to their environments. You know, it's something that I really never would have thought, you know, how they actually this home, this home. get... This uh, one, this the one. bugs and food they need yeah. with their beaks and the Fish. different kinds. So and this is really neat and I'm super fun. Really <laughs> Who I doesn't want to tape spoons to right. their kitchen gloves? Full disclosure, I we may have done a couple of takes with this one because it was just so fun and funny. I'm making these home. Oh. Nice, nice. You've collected food. Your bird has collected food. Just Excellent. Like, yeah, just like birds would bring home fish and spiders and other things for their family, right? So neat. Okay, this neat. is it's easier picking it up, like. <laughs> yeah, so oh, yeah, you've already adapted. Right over there, nice. And this is fun for all ages. You could do indoors or out. Yes, fun for all ages is <laughs> right. This I, is I really fun. I prefer it for outdoors because there's water in there. Oh, yeah, we could get yeah. really messy outdoors, right? <laughs> all right, this is so much fun. If you'd like to see this again, you can head right over to our website. Click on the link as seen at under the As Seen at 4 p.m. tab. Thank you, ladies, for joining me again. <laughs> this was a very fun one. We'll be right back.